Mutable Instruments Yarns is a full featured MIDI module, but it also includes some other functions like arpeggiators and Euclidean rhythm generators. Euclidean rhythms are a lot of fun to play with, and Yarns offers up to four separate parts to combine into interesting sequences. Before we generate anything, it makes sense to switch the layout mode from 1M or monophonic mode to 4M or 4 times monophonic mode. This allows us to send separate rhythms to up to four different destinations from the four gate outputs, accessible via the PA or part page. The 4T or trigger mode will work as well, but the triggers will be sent through the four CV outputs instead of the gate outputs. It's important to consider that Euclidean rhythms are connected to the arpeggiator in Yarns, which needs to receive a MIDI note to generate arpeggiations. So to enable Euclidean rhythms, we first have to engage the arpeggiator. Scroll to the AR or arpeggiation page and switch the ARP from 0 to 1. With the ARP engaged, we can scroll another three pages over to the Euclidean length page, designated by the E hyphen symbol on the Yarns panel screen. On this page, we set the overall pattern length of our Euclidean rhythm. On the next page, Euclidean fill, or EF, we set the smaller number of beats to fill the pattern. The final Euclidean rotate control, or ER, is the offset page which allows us to displace the resulting rhythm. We can now generate a number of different beats simply by accessing these three menus on each part. Let's try creating a couple of interesting patterns. Let's route gate 1 to our Roland FM kick drum module in the Iris Scooper. We've already created a pattern for it. We've used the Euclidean set of 4 and 16 to generate a classic dance music kick drum pattern. Now we have to activate the rhythm. This can be done by sending a note to Yarns using a connected MIDI device, but there is a handy alternative the built-in clock and note trigger function. If the start-stop button is held, Yarns will engage its internal clock and the display will switch to a MIDI number readout, usually C4 by default, allowing the rotary encoder to be used to dial in a specific MIDI note to play. We can use any note to trigger the arpeggiator. The pitch is only relevant when using the CV outs. Let's route gate 2 to the Basimilus Iteritus for some interesting metallic hi-hat sounds. I'll scroll back to the parts page and switch to part 2. Now we can scroll back to turn on the part 2 arpeggiation and Euclidean rhythm settings. Let's use a different set of values for the length and fill settings this time. Maybe 8 and 15. We can add two more parts using the same method. We can also access the clock division for each part on the clock page, as well as the trigger gate length, yielding some interesting polyrhythmic combinations of beats. Yarns may not be the most user-friendly Euclidean rhythm generator, but it's quite versatile. For more flexibility, we'll look at grids also by Mutable Instruments in a future video. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, follow, and subscribe.